Good morning, my friend. What up? It's a Monday. Happy Monday morning. Time for a cup of coffee. Here we are. Another beautiful day. I got a story for you today. And I asked you, do you get it? Listen to my story. So I heard this story oh, a week or two ago. It's about, a, it's about a woman who, at the urging of her parents, did the thing that many children are told to do. She grew up, she went to college, she got an education. Spent four or five years in college, she became an accountant. Partially because she was told that accounting was a good job for women. She hated accounting, but she got a degree. Spent thousands of dollars to go to school, of course, lots of money. And she'd been working as an accountant now for 40 years. Now she wasn't, she wasn't in the United States. So I believe she was in Mexico. Daisha, good morning. I believe she was in Mexico. Talking about a woman who went to school to be an accountant. Spent several thousands of dollars. Tens of thousands of dollars, of course, to go to school. I've been working as an accountant for 40 years. I was making $2,000 a month. She had advanced to $2,000 a month. This was in, again, this was in Mexico. She was planning on working another 15 years before she could retire. She hated accounting. There was another person who chose not to go to school who started a home-based business. And, it, and after eight years, was making every month more money than she was making in a year. And he was only starting out. The world was still ahead of him. Now think about that. Think about that. We're told, we're told that many people were told when they're young that the right thing to do is to grow up, get an education, get a job, go to work. Does that make sense anymore? That was really great advice in 1920, 1930, maybe 1940, but not anymore. That world is gone. That world doesn't exist in the United States anymore. These people are being trained for a world that no longer exists to live a life of essentially live a life. I'm going to use the word slavery. Because you become a slave to the system. Good morning, Yen. And you reach a point where you find it very, very difficult to escape. You get caught in what I call the middle class trap. You have bills to pay. So you have to go to work to pay your bills. You know, you grow up and you have a house and a car and a wife and a couple of kids. And, and you have to feed them. So you have to go to work. You have to continue to do what you're doing. And you spend your entire life doing something you don't want to do or something you don't want to, someone you don't want to do it for just so you can pay your bills. There's more to life than paying bills. If you want to know more about how you can escape that trap, talk to me. I'll help you. I know the way out. I'm out of it, and I can help you get out of it, too. It's going to take work. It takes effort. It takes time. It takes perseverance. But you can get out of it. Hey, that's all for today. I hope you're going to have a wonderful day as usual. I intend to be happy. I hope you do, too. It's a choice. Remember, the happier you are, the more happy the universe can bring you. That's the law of attraction. And remember to be compassionate. Be compassion. The world needs a whole lot more of that these days. And we'll talk again tomorrow. You have a wonderful day. Bye for now.